Tamarami, hello. If you don't know me yet, I'm Tom. I'm the new community manager. I'm here today doing my first company update for you all. Let me start by saying thank you all for being so welcoming. It's been really cool getting to know you guys so far. Uh, it's been a crazy first few weeks for me as well, and it's unreal to see how much this project is working on at one time. Straight into the update this week, the big news, we took an important step in building what I think is the most critical thing Tamadoge has done so far by introducing the new user signup flow. Not as sexy as a game, but it gets people playing our games much, much faster. With play to earn and crypto in general, there's a real steep learning curve for new players to join in. It can be complex even for crypto native users. You're trying to connect your wallet, it disconnects and you drop off completely. And that's what we were seeing with the Tamadoge website. People coming along wanting to participate and then falling off and us losing them forever. We want to get people playing the games to get them hooked into the Tamaverse. And the new user sign up flow takes all that away. We're leading the way in creating a frictionless system to get people playing in Web3 gaming. Now that you can join with just an email, it opens up the Tamiverse to everybody. I think I heard Paul say this in a previous update that when we get to the point when we're getting people like my grand playing, then we're really hitting audiences that we never would have got before. And something that John keeps saying to me as well in our meetings and updates and stuff like that is more gamers equals more holders. So the big question is, why have we introduced this now? So the new user flow allows us to get people gaming instantly, which is great, but it's also super critical for when we launch the mobile game. Mobile and crypto is a really weird thing. There's a lot of hurdles to overcome. Um, and so we have to have a solution that gets people gaming instantly, which is what this achieves. Because no one's sitting around on their phone, going out of the game to join a mobile browser, to connect a wallet, and then they've forgotten their password and all that kind of jazz. If I'm not playing the game in under 60 seconds, I'm deleting it right away. And so the new sign up flow addresses that. And for marketing, it's great too, because we're getting all these details, we're getting email addresses, we're getting phone numbers, which means we can start doing proper email campaigns to get people playing more, and then eventually push notification campaigns on mobile too, which will turn casual mobile fans into hardcore Tama army folks like you. Right, so what's next for the new sign-up flow? We've had loads of questions and feedback from you guys this week. Super important that you send that to us and we love you for it, but let's try and address some of it now. So important to note that this is the first iteration. Um, we've had to have, a, there's been a few hurdles that we've had to overcome for like linking OG Tamar players to the new system. So when you first sign up, it's gonna ask you for your the wallet address that you were using for Tamar before. This is simply so we can sort of match that information in the back end so we can connect your OG account to the new one and you can carry on using the same leaderboard name and stuff like that rather than starting a new account. Also, going forward, we're building a new system for giving Tamara's prizes and NFTs and sending them direct to the Tamar wallets. So currently it's not possible to transfer out of the Tamar wallet but this is coming in a future update. Obviously super critical, we hear you on this, and it's coming. And then finally, we're covering gas fees for transfers from of NFTs to your Tama wallets. Uh, this is because we appreciate it's not super fair for our OG fans to spend the money on gas fees transferring NFTs you've already bought or won to this new wallet. We can check this on the back end ourselves, trying to get the process down for how we're going to reimburse this. I want to get it right. So uh, let me get the details and then I'll post this to you in a future update. Done with the sign up flow. Let's rattle through some other stuff real quick. What's the puppy leaderboard? The puppy leaderboard is a new leaderboard for new gamers. Basically, when they start, we're gonna give them 50 free credits uh, to play. This will enter them into the puppy leaderboard to sort of give them a chance, basically, uh, to rank higher on the leaderboards before graduating to the grown-up leaderboards. 
Do we call them that? What do we call them? Main leaderboard. Don't know. Someone think of a name. Um, and then NFT leaderboard prizes from last week, 5th of April, are waiting to be processed. Obviously a super hectic week around here, as every week is. Um, but we'll start processing these soon. And well done for smashing it once again. And then NFTs for the last of the beta testers should also be processed next week. Nice. And that's the update for this week. Thanks again for joining me. Uh, this is my third week, so it's been crazy. I already love this community so much, and I'm happy to be spending time getting to know you guys, and I'll catch you soon. Tier 1 exchange. Tier 1 exchange. 24th of April. Tier 1 exchange.